editor of a Muslim newspaper in London is urging Dominicans to mount a protest against the possible harboring of Saudi Arabian dissident Mohammed al Masari. The Saudi dissident was due to be deported from Great Britain earlier this month because of a high-level campaign he is running against the Saudi royal family government, which is causing the British government embarrassment. The editor of the Muslim Chronicle, the voice of Islam in Europe, says that Dominica is being used as a dumping ground where Al Saud, the Saudi royal family, or its agents can more easily reach him. Saudi Arabia, the Al Saud, has a nasty habit of paying people to kill others. It's been happening for a, for a long, long time. Uh, this is, they will actually pay anybody to come to this open country to kill Masari. There have been three threats, or four threats, in fact many threats, on Masari's life in Britain already. And Al Saud have paid a lot of money to a lot of people to kill their people. To kill the particular citizens of the world. The Saudis are never satisfied for me going to, uh, to Dominica because of any other reason. Because well, they know they will be ha having an easy hand. If Masari comes here, it will become a battleground for various sections of the Muslim population. This is a country of 76, 78,000 people, 300 policemen. So it's easily conceivable that Saudi regime, which is investing billions in the campaign, will invest 20, 30, 40 millions to hire a few hundred mercenaries for couple of weeks mission, raid the island, assassinate or take me, and kill quite a number of the policemen there. So causing a big catastrophe for the country and destabilization. So it's definitely not a safe country from this point of view, as we have essentially a modern society and an archaic medieval dark age state. It's a canyon. It cannot be over bridge unless that regime changes radically and it doesn't have the mental Sexual attitude, the uh, ability to do that, or the willingness to do that. I'm just wondering if the helicopter overhead is, is another part of uh, the campaign to silence you. Most of that hate is just funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've heard the news. Congratulations, Thank Dr. You. It's, uh, it's, uh, Can indeed. you tell us what you think of the news? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great relief in the sense that uh, the deportations are off, the detention possibility is off. Issue. This was a question of basic decision. We could have, as I told many people, we could have in Saudi Arabia, we could have shut up, kissed the hand of the royals, and leave it majestically. But we chose another way. الجزيرة طبعا من يتابع الاحداث اللي في بريطانيا اذا ما نشات الجزيرة قبل ان تنشا الجزيرة اعتمدت على اذاعة البي بي سي العربية التي انشئت وانشئت وانشئت بصفقة مع السعوديين ثم بعد ذلك بسبب مقابلة مع العبد الفقير يعرفها الناس جميعا لم يتم بثها في السعودية فهدد البي بي سي بانها ستنهي العقد وطلبت الغرامة الغرامة كانت حوالي نص مليار ذلك الوقت فذهب خالد بن عبد الله عبد الرحمن قال للملك فهد ايامها انا غرموني وش اسوي؟ قال ندفع عنك الغرامة فحينئذ تم تسريح هذا الجهاز الضخم وقامت قطر بحركة ذكية جدا وأنشأت الجزيرة أحدثت نقلة نوعية لا شك لماذا أغلقت البي بي سي ونعود إلى الجزيرة أغلقت البي بي سي لأننا كنا في تلك الفترة تتذكروا يا أخوان البي بي سي كان هنالك الدكتور محمد المساري معارض سعودي هددت السعوديه ب ب بقطع او يعني شراء الاسلحه الا اذا لم تطرده بريطانيا كان يعني لديه شبه لجوء سياسي طالبت طالبوا نقله الى 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 جزيره الدومينيكا رفض محامي لانه ربما يتعرض للخطر ولاننا كنا نذيع اخبار محمد المساري كخبر عربي خبر داخل بريطانيا but we felt that we have a duty towards the whole people and towards the historic situation to get the country out of the dark age medieval government system into a reasonable government system which fits in the later part of the 20th century and get the people that they deserve participation in the public affairs and the reasonable respect of their rights. So for that was the struggle and that struggle needed mouthpiece and the platform outside that's we and we will be doing that from here from from Dominica, from the moon, from elsewhere, we'll continue that.